hello guys i am back again still updating you with a breaking trending news what is going on in nigeria so good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day okay um just like always news broke out yesterday from anambra state where gunmen uh attacked a broadcasting that is anambra broadcasting service that is located in awada obosi in the commercial city of Onesha in Idemili, not local government area. Okay, um, an eyewitness has given an account of uh, what the unknown gunmen told them uh, when they attacked the facilities. All right. So one of the victims and also an eyewitness um, who said his name should not be in print or should not be mentioned because of security uh, purpose. All right. So speaking with the um, Sahara reporter, the witness said, according to him in quote, it was very early in the morning. In fact, the day had not broken. And so I was still sleeping when I felt a touch of something on my body with sleepy eyes. I turned around only to see two people, one pointing a gun at my face and the other pointing a gun to my belly. I did not know what to do as they quickly ordered me to give them my phones, which I did. They ordered me out and when I saw other staff who was also on night duty and security men lying down on the ground, they collected all our phones. We were all lying down while they were beating us with what I don't know, whether it was a belt or what, but it was sharp. As I speak with you now, all my body is filled with bruises. While they were beating us as we lay down on the ground, one of them who did not have a gun kept saying, let us first shoot their legs. Let us shoot these people. But his colleague with gun said, remember we were instructed not to kill anybody. When they refused to give him a gun to shoot us, he asked another one of their colleagues to bring the fuel they had in gallon. I don't know if they wanted to set us ablaze, but God just helped us and they then used the fuel to burn the two vehicle. He was so much ready to shoot if he had a gun. We were only lucky that he did not have a gun. Maybe he wouldn't have listened to his colleague. But what I don't know is who instructed them not to kill anybody because they did not mention anyone. The attacks and killing in Anambra State have doubled since March 17, after Governor Soludo assumed office and vowed to wipe off criminal in the state. Okay, guys, um, that is um, uh, the side of the story of a weakness during that attack in Anambra Broadcasting Service. Okay, so um, with this, we really have to understand that these unknown gunmen, they are sponsored-based people. Yes, they have sponsors, all right? And it could be nothing less than or I don't know how to put it, but their sponsor could be nothing less than politicians in that state or in Southeast. Yes, just like what Soludo have been saying. Because I really don't know how did these guys, you know, gotten money to or got money to purchase arms, buy bullet, buy for even this, this this period that we have of false scarcity and other things if not these guys are being sponsored there are people who sponsor these people because i really don't know just burning down facilities attacking some facilities sometimes they don't even kidnap for ransom or whatsoever just to kill destroy all right okay guys i quickly wanted to update you on that if you have anything to contribute uh, put it down in the comment section below see you in another update